Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. Today is day 13 in our Nico Queen Rearing System series. So today what we're going to do is we're going to check our graph frame for viable queen cells and then we're going to go make nukes to match that number. So let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is just remove the honey super. Also be able to check for how much honey I got coming in. And it's feeling heavy. Oh Lord. That. <clears throat> Getting full, which is a good sign. Okay, I'm gonna smoke the bees off the top bar here. Pull our frame out of our nine frame brood nest and give it a look see. Okay, looks like I've got a non viable one here. So I don't know about this one here, it's kind of short, but I'll stick it in a nuke and see what happens. So that makes 29 out of 30. Give them a little smoke, get them off the top bars and off the edges. Then I'll put my honey super back on. And it's getting heavy. While I'm here, I'm going to check and see if I need to add a, a super to this hive. Well, the honey's starting to get capped up, so it looks like it could use another box. Okay, now we'll head on out to our other apiary, and uh, we'll make up a bunch of nukes. So I'll see you there. Okay, so I made it down here to my apiary that I'm going to pull my brood frames from to make my nukes. Um, and so, while I'm at it, I'll check my honey supers. Um, here's my here's my nuke, the two frame box or two nuke box that I make. Um, I make special lids with winter ventilation for over each each colony, and then I have uh, I have in the center here just I have a divider that runs a full length, um, and then next to the divider. I put in a, a frame of honey and out from the divider I put in an empty brood frame that I'm going to swap out into my uh, donor hive. Um, then I have, <clears throat> if I have it, I have drawn brood comb and empty comb on the outside. I'm running a little short right now, so I have foundation. Not the best, but it'll work. Okay, so I'm making these queen cells and I'm going to transfer them tomorrow which will be the 1st of July. Today's the 30th of June and uh, that's going to work out real well for me. The weather is, is always favorable this time of year and it'll end up building me up some resource colonies and we'll get them through the winter and, and <clears throat> get them transferred into full-size hives next spring. Now that one's heavy so it's full of honey. All right, so I have some burr comb here. I'm going to smoke the bees off the top bars, and then I'm going to scrape my burr comb off. All right, now I'm just going to start my way in and look for a look for a frame with some brood in it. This is all honey and nectar. The next frame in is capped honey. Next frame in is pollen. Okay, so here's a nice frame of capped brood, and they're starting to backfill it with nectar. So if I'm not careful, they'll uh, 
they'll start thinking about swarming here pretty soon. There's still some open spaces in here. I'm going to look for the queen very carefully. <clears throat> And I'm going to trade out a frame here. I'm going to skip a frame. Okay, another nice frame of brood. No queen. We'll trade it out. Okay, a lot of nectar and some cat brood here. Um, look for the queen. If I don't see her, I'll give this a shake into the colony um, that I'm making just to give it enough strength to keep to keep them that brood that's in there alive for until it hatches. Okay, no queen. I'll give it one more shake. We're done here. I'll put the lid on these guys. And then we're done. So I'll put my hive back together. Alright, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope that you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. All right, there's... Thirty-one. All right, thirty-one new hives of bees.